ESPN1420and.com. Great stuff from our guest, Kyle Turley. Check out his uh, website, kyleturley.com. You can learn a lot more about his music and some of the other great things he does, Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund, things like that. Give him a follow on Twitter, at Kyle Turley. Your, your initial reaction, Kyle, a little less than a year ago when the NFL, um, at least initially it appeared, uh, settled their concussion lawsuit, six, uh, $765 million, if I'm not mistaken, and and part of the deal was they were going to be able to kind of close the book on other concussion lawsuits, and there was a, a lot of debate about it. There were many that felt like this this can't happen. The NFL's getting off easy. Um, I don't I don't have to ask you to get your opinion because I know you're going to give it to me. Your initial reaction whenever that initially came out, uh, I guess it was a year ago in August. Well, um, you know, it's it's great to to see that there's a settlement uh, when you've been fighting for so long for something. Um, you know, because that's what it was. It was a fight. It was a fight to get the NFL to uh, own up to uh, the damage that had been done and own this injury so that players could receive the benefits uh, that they deserve based upon these injuries. And, uh, you know, guys like uh, our good friend Steve Gleason can uh, uh, not have to uh, spend every dime that he made playing football and have his family go broke dealing with uh, disease that he likely contracted uh, due to the sport of football. Um, you know, there, there's uh, a, a, major, a major uphill battle that took place uh, against uh, a foe that uh, most, uh, you know, thought was impossible to defeat. And uh, to see it where it is today with, uh, well, or last year with that initial uh, mention of the settlement, and then now with the open-ended settlement is, is a, a great thing. There's a lot of discrepancies um, as to how it's going to play out, and we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but the uh, most important thing and why we all got in this fight to begin with was to take care of those serious situations uh, where guys uh, can't take care of themselves. And I've got two great friends in uh, 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 Steve Gleason um, and Kevin Turner who've got a very horrific disease that my grandfather passed from that I know very, very well. And uh, those guys are going to get $5 million bucks piece from it. So uh, I'm pretty happy and proud about that. You, you've donated time, talent, effort, money to the Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund. If you had final say, Kyle, what what would the NFL do to compensate the former players who are suffering long-term injury effect, effects from their playing days? Well, they, they would honor the injury files that uh, players leave the NFL with. And unfortunately, our disability system still to this day uh, is um, – uh, judged upon uh, a third-party doctor and a, a panel that is made up of non-doctors uh, that uh, decide whether or not you deserve your disability or not. And uh, when it faces them point blank, right in their face, when they uh, you leave the National Football League with your three, four-inch thick medical report that uh, you can't even get a life insurance policy with, uh, and uh, you know they know better. Um, you know, there's uh, there's just an unbelievable amount of politics that uh, is involved and a bunch of money that uh, is not uh, for certain people that they're holding on to. And it uh, I don't understand it and uh, never will. Um, you know, that's just not who I am, so I, I just can't get it. Uh, but uh, uh, I know what should happen and I know what needs to happen, and so I'll continue to – uh, do what I can personally to try and make those things happen. ESPN fourteen twenty and dot com. Kyle Turley, our guest. Seven years out of your playing career, Kyle. You mentioned, you know, um, the effects on your body. How, how is your body feeling today, post NFL? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, the game is what it is. I think you, uh, you know, when you go into it, you understand you're going to hurt, um, but uh, you don't understand. I think how bad you're going to hurt. So uh, that, that's been a bit of a wake-up call, if you will. It takes me a good uh, two, three hours in the gym every day before I can even really get rolling and feeling right. Uh, and so, you know, that's a constant struggle. And, uh, you know, but getting a lot of these surgeries knocked out uh, post-career here is something that is uh, given some relief uh, in its own right and making some things better. But uh, at the same time, it's not a fun thing to go through when you got multiples. I just had 30 bone chips taken out of my left shoulder and all the arthritis rubbed out. And so I'm, I'm uh, bone on bone and uh, on, on 
that and uh, can't do certain things with that thing anymore. Had a total reconstruction on my right ankle, finally got that thing all fixed, uh, tore most of my ligaments playing football, and that led to me breaking the dang thing, uh, just screwing around with my kids because it was so weak, and uh, had to get that all done. And then uh, uh, my back surgeries, uh, I'm going in a couple weeks to sit down with my doc out here to finally get that addressed and uh, go under the knife once again for that one, so that'll be a fun one. But um, you how many know, how many surgeries have you had like in your? Oh in your... man, they're counting. They're adding up. You know, I mean, uh, in uh, the work that I do with the gridiron greats and uh, uh, seeing a lot of these old guys, uh, I'm I'm catching up. Uh, it's it's a unfortunate reality to the game. Um, last question for you, Kyle, and then we'll tell all the listeners what you got going on this Friday, so they can hang out with you, chat with you. What is what is a typical day in the life of Kyle Turley look like right now? Uh, well, uh, that depends on the surf. Uh, there you go. <laughs> but uh, the surf report uh, dictates that these days right now and uh, uh, until the back surgery happens, and I'll be laid up for a while. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it gotta, like I said, got to get up every day and uh, get this body moving, man. It's, uh, if I don't, then it, uh, it, it gives me problems. So uh, more problems than I have. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a constant grind uh, uh, to you know, get in the gym and, you look like a million bucks because you, you, you're a pr- professional athlete and you're built right and you put on a bunch of muscle and you've trimmed down now and so everybody thinks you look like a million dollars but you you feel like about ten so <laughs> it's uh, uh, it is what it is man the sport of football took its toll and uh, their their uh, their battle wounds and scars that uh, you know I can only uh, uh, know where they came from you know I mean there's except for the guys that played the game I mean the, there's nobody else that uh, understands this pain. Uh, you know, exactly, and uh, understands what it is. So you know, it's it's all, almost a badge of honor, and uh, you know, you just got to keep keep positive and look at uh, you know look at your pictures every now and then and what you used to be, and uh, understand that you did do something pretty cool uh, to uh, have to wake up and feel this bad. ESPN fourteen twenty and dot com. Kyle Turley has been our guest and. Kyle, you you and, and uh, the Nigerian Nightmare, uh, Christian Okoye, uh, Roger Craig, former great running back with the, uh, with the 49ers, you guys uh, are, are, are some of many that are involved in Shattergraph, celebrities, social media, memorabilia, memorabilia coverage, and essentially it, it allows fans, yeah, they get to, to get this sort of autographed transcript, which I think is cool, but it's, it's one where they get to talk to you just – one on one, and and obviously everybody that 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 remembers Kyle and his playing career, everybody that's listened to him uh, here this afternoon for the last half hour knows the man's outspoken. He's going to tell you what he feels, and if you ask him a question, he's going to answer it. And I know there are a lot of former Saints fans that would love a chance to chat with you. Uh, fill our listeners in a little bit about how this works with with live chat and, and chatograph dot com. Well, uh, you know, you kind of mentioned it there. Uh, in that it's an opportunity. It's, it's the new wave. It's technology. Technology is continuing to uh, advance, and uh, new ideas are being born every day. And this is a great one uh, to have an opportunity for fans to uh, interact on their social media with, um, uh, you know, their their peers or uh, heroes or whatever you want to they want to call it. Uh, people they're interested in, um, you know, celebrity wise. Uh, this is a, a new platform that's uh, being launched that I. I think we'll uh, give fans an, another unique opportunity to do that and, uh, you know, an experience that uh, hasn't been seen yet. I, I mean, this is a great idea. It's a great concept. And uh, um, the people over at Chattagraph have done a great job and uh, uh, many other uh, endeavors that they've done with uh, sports uh, figures and, and celebrities alike. Um, and uh, so I, I believe this will be a great success. I mean, uh, you know, it's it, everybody's got their phone. Um, uh, you know, and uh, their smartphones are uh, almost like a, another appendage to them. So uh, this is something that will bring them uh, very close to those that they uh, admire or, you know, w- want to cuss out or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. It's just, are you expecting that? Are you expecting somebody to get on, on Chattagraph with you and just start ripping you? Hey, who knows? 
knows? I, it, it wouldn't be a surprise, you know, with uh, all the, the many things I've said out there uh, on the wire. So so Mike Martz might, like, get on Chattagraph and give you a call and just start having a heated exchange. Yeah, yeah, I doubt it. He's, he's, he's not, he doesn't have that, 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 that much courage. <laughs> uh, but uh, there may be a few uh, uh, people out there who I've, I've jaded in the past that, that uh, you know, hey, and that's all good. And people know me the most, uh, know that I don't shy away from that. And, uh, uh, you know, I appreciate every fan out there, good or bad. Otherwise, uh, you know, when fans were uh, uh, in opposing stadiums, just getting out of control behind our bench, and, and uh, you'd go back and forth with them, and the security guards would come down to try and kick them out. I was running over there, first one, to tell them to please don't kick them out. They deserve to sit in those seats and be a part of that game and a part of this madness. Uh, they paid their ticket, and they're helping pay my salary, and I appreciate every one of those people out there. Kyle Turley, a man of the people. Uh, for, for more, go check out Chattograph.com. That's C-H-A-T-O-G-R-A-P-H. You can follow him at Chattagraph. You can follow Kyle at Kyle Turley. And uh, last question from the fans, Kyle. Got to ask it. How do you think the Saints are going to do this upcoming season? Well, getting Jimmy Graham back was a huge thing, uh, securing him there. And, uh, you know, obviously I think things are riding right now on uh, – in that quarterback position, uh, uh, he's got uh, an injury he's dealing with, and hopefully uh, doesn't deal with it in, uh, too long, and they get it, uh, straightened out uh, before the season starts here. Kyle, it was an absolute pleasure, my friend. As always, thank you for being so candid and uh, and open. And best of luck with Chattagraph. I know there are a lot of fans anxious to uh, to talk to you, hear more stories, ask more questions, and. Hopefully we can uh, we can talk to you again in the future. Good luck with the upcoming surgeries, and I hope the surf is treating you nice this week. You got it, man. Thanks a lot, Scott. Take Thank care. you. Who that?